Alright, so it's been a while since I've done these videos of my setup and workflow, but uh, I decided to do an update on this because there's been a lot that has happened. So starting with uh, my distribution on all that. So first of all, I'm using Oracle Linux. I'm not using Arch. I'm not using Gentoo. I'm not using Debian. None of that. I'm using Oracle Linux. It's a fork of Arch Linux, and it is not a non-systemd distro. It is a systemd distro. It's just Arch, but Arch. There's not much difference. And uh, I'm using uh, Pacman, obviously. I'm thinking of installing that thing called uh, Arch Emerge. And I'm using a new as yes, my window manager here, or Railing Compositor. And it's using a very GNOME like setup actually. So you can see that this bar is pretty similar to GNOME. You know, you've got a GNOME kind of bar here because new is actually very similar to GNOME. So, a uh, GNOME on Paper WM, that's what it's based on. Paper WM is like a scrolling window manager for GNOME, and that's what Nuri is trying to mimic. You've got your uh, GNOME IP, GNOME uh, portals for Nuri actually. So, if I go ahead and get out a uh, user local share uh, XTG desktop portal, Nuri portals are gone. If you can see the default is GNOME and GTK. That's pretty cool, and that's why I'm using a lot of GNOME stuff here. I'm using uh, Nautilus as my file manager, and also the uh, Adwaita color scheme. So this is using the Adwaita color scheme there. So that's my setup. You've got the bar obviously is using Waybar, and my app launcher is Rofi. This is a theme I got from the uh, internet that goes Rofi theme selector. Let me just close out these tabs. And, and themes collection for Rofi launcher is actually this is called so I know the theme selector theme selector is actually a program that allows you to select the theme and so I picked the, like the spotlight dark one changed it a bit and I've got my Rofi theme there wallpapers are from DistroTube a lot of these are from DistroTube and some of them I download myself like uh, this one right here Oh, this one, all of these are ones that I downloaded by myself. You can find this on uh, stuff like uh, reddit.com or slash wallpapers. You can also find them on Imgur. You can also find them on uh, 4 chains. So if you go to boards.4chan.org forward slash wg for the wallpaper gallery. And you've got the wallpaper general thing here. This is most of where I get my wallpapers from. And that's pretty much the window manager setup and all that. I'm using OBS Studio to record my screen. And it actually took me about 4 hours to get this working with Nuri window manager because it's that hard. There was some sort of technical thingies uh, and I'll make a video about it soon. So then you've also got an Emacs here. Emacs is the texture that I use and also the main, like my most used program. For example, if I edit uh, my DWM config, I'm editing like the DWM.c and I want to change uh, stuff like, you know, the term CD to kitty because that's what I use. Then what I can do after I do that is I can open up a new tab. I can enter eShow and I can run a sudo make clean install inside of Emacs. This is not my terminal. This is Emacs. This is a terminal inside of Emacs. That's pretty cool if you ask me. So that's why I use Emacs. It's got all of these features I love. That's Emacs for ya. And uh, what else do we got? Let me quickly set a different wallpaper. This one. There we go. As for the browser, I use a floor and uh, the new tab is tab list. So you go to addons.mozilla.org and you find one called tab list. You just install this and you can configure it to add uh, stuff like uh, your websites like Fostedon and all that. And for the GTK theme, I'm also using the uh, GNOME stuff. So I'm using Adwaita for the GTK theme and Adwaita for the Icon theme. So <laughs> all of them are the same name. So if I go and open up my GTK settings, you can see that I'm using Adwaita Dark as well as uh, Adwaita for pretty much everything and uh, the window manager configuration file nearly is actually pretty easy 
So if I open up my uh, Emacs here, go to the config.kdio, that is, and here's my new configuration. It's like the default one, but a little bit modified, you know. You have to click gradient borders, then search that up, and here's the active gradient, and all of that, you can have an inactive gradient if I want to. Let me quickly go ahead and see how that looks like. So now if I open up new window, the inactive window should have some sort of gradient, but I don't really need that. Now the reason I use Nuri, there are two reasons. Number one, it says call window manager. I love this. I can open an infinite amount of windows here. I can, uh, a cool thing I can do is I can put all of these windows in the stack here and I can I can I have no idea what this is. It's called tabbing. It's it's magical. And I can group all of these windows together. And obviously I've got infinite windows. I already mentioned that. Then I've got multiple workspaces, dynamic workspaces. If I open a window, the seventh one all comes up. If I open a window, eighth one comes up. That's how workspaces work, you know. So that's pretty cool. And I can go to the sixth workspace here. Six workspace, six work, uh, all of them are gone now. So you get the idea of Nuri, and the config file is kind of weird. It's using KDO. It's I'm pretty sure there's a website for that called KDO right there. Uh, I'm not sure. I think, yeah, here it is. Uh, KDO, a curly document language. I have no idea what this is, but it's actually pretty uh, easy to understand. It's also confusing at the same time. So first we've got the window rules, window rules are pretty easy, you just set stuff like open maximized. So now if I open a window like uh, JDK settings is gonna open maximized, maximized means it takes up the whole screen because by default it's actually like this, you know, and then you can add a window rule for app ID, for example kitty, which is my terminal, I can set it to false. So the way you get your app ID is you do a new MSG windows. Then you need to make sure that you have this window open. Now if you go to and we grab kitty here, you can see the app ID for kitty is just kitty. So that's cool and you've got a floating rule. So I set a floating rule for power control. Now if I click this, we'll open up power control as floating. So that's pretty much it for my and window manager setup and workflow. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you later and bye bye.